Hi honeys, how's your day going so far? Mine is going fine. I'm getting ready to make some breaded chicken strips out of chicken breasts. I purposely did not get the chicken tenderloins because it has that vein in it and I didn't want to be cutting around the vein, that tenderloin vein. So. And I will be, I wish I had some spicy uh, chicken breading. I don't have any. So I'll be mixing this and putting some red pepper in it. I'm mixing the fish fry with the Kentucky Colonel seasoned flour. So I'm putting red pepper in it. I like spiciness, yeah. Where my red pepper? Right here, cayenne pepper. Okay. And I'll be using my breader shaker bowl. I'll put the link to this in my description box. And of course, I'll be putting mustard on it as a binder. So. I'm going to wash this chicken and I'll be back. Okay. I finished washing the chicken breasts and I sliced each breast in half. It was three chicken breasts. I sliced each one in half, then I cut it into strips or nuggets, depending on how long strip is so and I did find some hot some spicy fish fry or the Cajun so I'll be mixing that in my bowl try to make these as dry as possible Putting them in this mixing bowl so I can season them. Have to be as dry as possible so they'll be crispy. These are boneless, skinless. So, that was some oil in here. But usually, it's the chicken skin that makes the oil. And I don't want no dry chicken. So, before I do anything, I'm going to spray. Uh, this is either avocado oil or olive oil. Can't remember which one. Okay. Mustard. Come on now. Chicken will not taste like mustard. Put some chicken in my chicken. This is going to season the chicken. Oh my. my measuring cups and spoons get pushed way back here. Okay. Here's a half of tablespoon. This is what I'm using, the Nor um, chicken bouillon powder. It seasons well. 
You don't need that much because it's salty. I'm still going to put some red pepper. And yes. So some. I don't want that. With some smoky smoked paprika. There's no salt and no MSG. I'll tell you what is in it. Garlic, cumin, coriander, annatto, and paprika. But this is the smoked paprika and it tastes completely different. Let me see if I still got some white pepper. Yep. No left. White pepper. Oh, what else I want? Garlic and onion. Okay. Might as well. Garlic powder. And granulated onion. There's no salt in either of these. This is minute rice Nikki had bought. She got some quinoa and some rice. So I may and Walter really liked it. So I may fix that. Let me just pop it in the microwave. Okay, that's good. Some hot sauce. Habanero hot sauce. This little bottle where we did the hot sauce challenge. Okay, that's it. Get these cheap gloves, so I have to put a rubber band on my wrist to keep the glove on. And I'm going to smush all this together. You ain't got but a little bit of chicken. Breast, slice it in half and cut it in strips. And you think you got more. Okay. I really wanted some catfish. I didn't feel like going to the store. mixed up good. It smells good and it's raw. Okay. Fish 
wrap in here. I don't want to shake it too much because I'll be sneezing because I got red pepper in it. This is the Louisiana Cajun Crispy Fish Fry. We want to fix some chicken. You can use this on chicken, pork chops. I interchange things often. I'm going to mix it with some Kentucky Colonel. Seasoned flour. The difference between fish fry and chicken flour is that fish fry has cornmeal in it. Y'all didn't know. I just heard a car door just a minute. Okay, that was the Amazon truck. My friend. <laughs> All in the process of shaking this to mix the two flowers. Don't look like enough. I don't know. I'm going to touch this after. I don't want to overcrowd it. different sizes. Put about half of them in here. Okay, let's go to the air fryer so I can put this in the air fryer. Sometimes I'm glad I got a tiny kitchen. Sometimes. I'm using my boy Levy. 10 quart air fryer. And let me show you what I did. I want to raise the rack. Here's the um, I put this in here. This came with some air fryer or some something. Put that in there. Put this on top of that. And kind of raise the rack. Hmm. I'm gonna spray this rack. Like I said, this is skinless. And it's the skin on chicken that has the oil. Try to cut these the same thickness so they'll cook the same. I 
and I'm going to spray the tops of these. Okay. This one could stand some more breading. Okay, I was in the process of spraying my chicken before the battery went out. Yesterday the car went out and it stopped filming. Oh, so I'm spraying my chicken with whatever oil is in here. Either olive oil or avocado oil. Turn it on. I think 18 minutes would be too long. I'll do 15 minutes and I'll check it. Okay, I'll be back. And you don't even hear this running, do you? It's the boy Levy 10 quart air fryer. And I like it a lot. Okay, so these chicken strips are done. It was set for 18 minutes and I'm stopping it on 5 minutes. So we cook for 13 minutes. Good. Good. Okay. I wound up putting all the chicken strips back in the air fryer. I flipped them all over on the other side because I wanted both sides to be crispy not just the top side so now they're done and i'm getting ready to fix the other batch okay i have a mixture of quinoa brown rice and some other kind of rice and nikki left here and i put in a can of corn so i seasoned it got butter in it and some of my nor chicken bouillon a little bit and some chicken stock so that's what's going with the chicken strips oh you know what you call this concoction but I figure all this stuff goes together because chickens eat corn and they eat rice <laughs> chicken. I'm waiting for the other chicken to get done. I'm trying to keep this vented so it don't get soggy. Here's my food I just whipped up. Chicken breast strips, corn, brown rice, quinoa, and some other kind of rice. And sweet chili sauce and the yellow bird habanero hot sauce right there for dipping thumbnail okay bye okay the second batch of chicken strips or nuggets they cooked 15 minutes it just stopped okay I'm filming how they look. Y'all see? Oh. I'm talking to my honeys. What is it? Man, you didn't lost your mind. What is it? I still want to know where my little tongues are. They have some little bitty ones. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Why you keep doing that? No, Losing my stuff. I got you. I got a wooden ladle that's missing also. One of my honeys bought it for me. And it's gone. This is how all the chicken strips look and I'm about to do the taste test. Okay, I'm gonna taste the rice first. I ain't never had none of this before. It's 
season. When you only got a little of this and a little of that, put them together. This is brown rice, quinoa, corn, and some other kind of rice. I don't know. Now I'm going to eat a chicken strip. It's hot. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Dipping it in this sauce again. Mm. This, is, this is it with no sauce. Mmm. It's spicy. I'm gonna put some more habanero hot sauce in this sweet chili sauce. So I wanna thank you all for watching. Give me a thumbs up, leave a nice comment, and subscribe to my channel. And you all have a very blessed rest of the day. Bon appetit.